Hi, Terry Roche here, host of Talk Radio's Inside Real Estate with your home buyer insider secret number six. How to get your own buyer's agent to represent you for free and how to find the best buyer's agent to represent you for free. First of all, most people think, why would a buyer's agent represent me for free, especially one that's worth their salt? You have to understand the way a real estate transaction is set up. First of all, let me start with an example. When a home goes on the market for sale, a seller lists it with a listing company. That would be the company you would see their sign in the yard. They'll sign a commission agreement, a listing agreement, and that commission could be, let's just use an example in this case, they're not fixed, but use an example of 6%. At a 6% commission, you'll also find an example of a commission sharing arrangement where commissions would be split half and half. That's uh, 3% to the listing company and 3% to anybody who would have a buyer. Uh, that would be an agent you might be working with to go help you find a home. What most buyers don't understand, the listing agent and the selling agent both represent the seller by law. You obviously think the listing agent representing the seller because they have their name on the, in, 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 on the sign in the yard. Most buyers don't understand the buyer you're driving around, the buyer agent or what you think is a buyer's agent is really a selling agent that represents the seller by default because the law is designed that way. Now, the law also changed a little over 10 years ago, allowing buyers to have their own buyer's agent and changing the relationship of that agent you're driving around with so they represent you. And there's only one document that you need, one legal document to do this. However, some buyers are under the impression, well, then you have to pay that buyer's agent to represent you. Not the case. The way the commission sharing arrangements are structured, the listing agreement we talked about earlier says, of that 6% commission, 3% goes to the listing company, 3% goes to any agent who brings the buyer, and in most cases, a buyer's agent. See, the listing company knows 95% chance they won't sell that house or find the buyer on their own. So with that in mind, why would they take the time to try to focus on finding the buyer on their own when they could offer half the commission out to any other realtor out there working with buyers and get the house sold. Well, that's the way most real estate transactions happen. And as a matter of fact, over 90% of the real estate transactions in Northern Virginia happen where the agent working with the buyer doesn't even work with the same company that the listing company is that has it listed for sale. So that in mind, why not? if I'm a listing agent, market it to all the agents out there. Well, of course, I'd be doing a disservice to my buyer, excuse me, to my seller, if I wasn't going to market it to every agent out there. So that's what we do. Now, buyers, on the other hand, need to, and this is the way the law works in Virginia, and in many other states for that matter, need to make sure up front that they indicate with a buyer broker agreement that the agent they're working with will represent them in their best interests. Therefore, by doing that, you can actually have the seller's listing and the commission being offered to the other agents pay your buyer's agent on your behalf so you pay zero. You have nothing to pay. And the law is behind you because the law dictates now that buyers have to have the option made known to them that they have the ability to have a buyer's agent. So with this commission sharing arrangement and with the buyer broker agreement, you literally can get your representation for free. Now. Why wouldn't you do that? Well, of course, once it's explained properly, of course you would want it done that way. The problem is, it's not always explained very well, and most buyers don't understand how it works. So, first of all, that's how you get your buyer agent for free. Second of all, how do you find the best buyer agent, and why would they do it for free? Well, they aren't doing it for free. They're getting paid. They're just getting paid from the proceeds of the transaction. They're getting paid on your behalf by the prearranged listing agreement. Now, how do you find the best buyer's agent? That's the sticky wicket. So I'll give you a couple of clues. First of all, if you have an agent that's only doing 10 or 20 transactions a year, uh, you, you, you would be better assured by someone who's busier, someone who has more business. <clears throat> a, they're in more demand. B, well, they're involved in the market. They're better plugged in. They have better access. Now, sometimes people think they need to go with a buyer's agent that claims they do nothing but buyers and nothing but represent buyers. Uh, I don't buy into that, although it sounds like a good marketing ploy. And the reason being, <clears throat> how could you, po I'll give you an example. If you were going to sue somebody and you hired an attorney to do so, and if that attorney says, well, uh, I've never actually sued anybody, I've only defended people. 
well, probably not the best person for you to hire. They have no experience on the other side. Same thing with buyer's agents. If they say, well, I've only worked with buyers, I've never worked with sellers, or I don't work with sellers, how can they possibly represent you if they don't know the other side of the transaction, know the other fears, the concerns, know the pitfalls, know what's going on in sellers' minds at that time in the market? They can't because they don't work that side. So you really need to hire somebody who works both sides, works with sellers and works with buyers, so they can have insider information on what's going on in the seller side of the market so they can use that to benefit you. There are going to be things going on in the seller's market, things going on at the time that can be used against sellers for your benefit, but you're never going to find that out unless you work with a buyer's agent that works both sides of the market. Now, there's a couple of other ways to handle this. There's a couple of other strategies that can literally put tens of thousands in your pocket with buyer agency and with finding buyer agents that can find market anomalies, that can find underpriced properties that specialized perhaps in foreclosed properties, that can actually find areas that are about to pop in value due to different zoning issues going around. These are different specialties that buyer agents have. <clears throat> you can find out more about how we're currently using insider strategies learned from my real estate radio show that can literally save home buyers tens of thousands of dollars on their home purchase and financing every day right here in Northern Virginia. Just check out my free live online webinar at www.homebuyerinsidesecrets.com. That's homebuyerinsidesecrets.com. You can get all these insider techniques applied to your personal home purchase with our free insider access home buyer savings program also. And that gets you a guaranteed minimum savings of $25,000 or more on your home and financing. And the best part is we guarantee it. And these exclusive strategies, they don't cost you anything. The service is no cost to you. That's homebuyerinsidesecrets.com. Find out why even other realtors and mortgage lenders actually use me as their buyer broker on their own personal home buying transactions instead of relying on themselves.